bait swim jigs top water texas rigs but what it doesn't say it's free line wild golden shiners let's see if the enigma phenom can handle it sure seems like you came back and got it again Big dog. Big dog. Oh. Oh, barely hooked. All right, look at that. Hook just comes right out. This is a little stud. A little, little stud male. A little stud. Huh. Give me a kiss on the face. And then we'll release you. I don't want to just sit here and hold you in the water because that gator might want to grab you. So let's, uh, is that a fish? No, nope, that's a log. There you go, baby girl. Or excuse me, baby boy. All right. She shook me. She shook me. She shook me. Shook me good. Oh, there's a good sized bass. See him just swimming right there? See that bass swimming around? No. We've seen him, but he's seen us. Look at that big catfish. Look at that big old blue catfish. So we're going to ease up around this log and we're going to see how big that bass was. Might as well. I like fishing these tiny little, tiny little tributary river areas that nobody ever comes back into. Come back out of there. Come back out of there, baby. Whew. Whew. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, I just pulled somebody else's line out of her mouth. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's the one that just got off. She's old. She's real old. She's real, real old. Wow, there's something flicking around in her stomach. She just ate something. See you later, girl. Good fish. Real good fish. 
Now, as you can see, I got this up, this tiny ass little line, looks like four pound test or some shit. This was wrapped around in her gill. It wasn't hooked or nothing. It was just wrapped up in her gills. And it's still going. Still no hook or nothing. But look at all that line she was carrying around. She's probably got hung on a few things and just popped it off because it's so small a line. <sighs> so we may have just saved her. Let her get big. Let her get real, real big. That's what we want. I want her to get real, real big. <sighs> All right. Got a bowfin chasing the bass to get the damn shiner. Look at that. That bowfin still chasing that damn bass. Oh, he got the shiner loose. That bowfin is still chasing that bass right here next to the damn kayak. Look at that. He's still under the water. He's still right there, that bowfin. There he's swimming off now. Not the one we were looking for, but it's better than nothing. No way. Don't you come off, baby. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. You finally committed to it, didn't you? You finally committed. Now that is a fish. She finally committed. I'm gonna do this as fast as possible, baby girl. Seven pounds, one ounce. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Beautiful. chasing a shiner right next to the kayak and now the shiner's hiding on top of this log a two bass after it now two bass after it and one of them got it
shiner's loose. The other bass is trying to get this bass. Whoa! Got another bigger bass right here hanging out. Come here, baby, so I can get this other one. He hammered it hard, too. Hammered it real hard. He's gonna make me get my little tool out. There's that other bass right there rolling. We're gonna get him. He's still right there underneath this log. He's waiting on his friend. I won't even get a picture. Just because I want to see if I can get that other one. Right. Nice little chunk. No. Now his buddy has been released and I see him still. It would be absolutely amazing to catch both of these. There goes the one right there. He's back in the water. Ooh, something just rolled on his ass over there. I can't tell what's going on though. Get out from underneath that log, baby. <laughs> mm. I knew you were around here. Barely hooked. Don't bite me, baby. I knew she was around here. Mmm. Yeah. Good fish. Good fish.
there he is. Something popped his ass. Like a bass. <coughs> but I didn't want him. Barely hooked. Well, no, that was pretty good actually. Kind of went in, went back out. Nice little chunk. Stop biting me. Nice little chunk. that a bass? It was a bass. <laughs> he came out of left field and got that shiner when I was moving it real fast. That was pretty neat. He walloped it. He walloped it, son. He hit it basically like it was a little swim bait. Hi, little guy. That was pretty cool. That was a dead shiner and I was reeling it in real fast. And he just came out of left field and blopped it. Already got a lot of mildew and you're pretty young. Need to get more active, kid. Need to get more active. Got shit growing on you like a sloth. He walloped that. That was pretty neat. Pretty neat. Not as cool as the bass hitting the gar inside of the head yesterday. That was definitely the coolest thus far. Did that just happen? Dude, that bass just hit that gar and knocked it out of his fucking mouth. That was insane. And then he got caught on that damn limb right there.
took some wild golden shiners up in this tiny little tributary and all in all it wasn't bad caught many fish over six pounds between six and seven caught a lot of fish around the four or five area um, I only edited in the ones that I felt like were decent enough to put on film because I was running out of time and I still got 21 minutes worth of footage the Enigma rod was doing pretty good for a little bit, but the line that I have on this reel, this is my slightly heavier pole, the line is a little older, and it's a 30 pound test, maybe even 40, I'm not real sure, I can't remember. But the problem I was having is in this very clear, shallow water, it was just super easy to see the line free lining a shiner, and I noticed that the fish would come up and not commit to it. And once I switched to my um, my other reel on a different pole, it's a ugly stick, medium heavy with a Shimano Stratic, and it has 20 pound power pro. And for some odd reason, it was either newer line or a combination of newer line, smaller diameter, but it was just way, way less visible in the water. So I switched a couple fish in from my Enigma to my ugly stick with Shimano straight 20 pound test and that helped that helped to get more bites saw some really really cool stuff um, only in this really clear water like this is, is it actually fun to free line wild shiners any other time you're just watching line watching a bobber whatever here I can watch these fish actually attack these shiners chase them down see which direction they have them in their mouth watch the huge puff of scales go in the water it's just just it's just this whole new monster for me it's fun kayak fishing free line shiners from a kayak in a tiny crystal clear stream it's just it's it's a whole nother monster but these places where you can't take boats and that nobody goes these things hold gold they hold fish that are aggressive that are decent size that are beautiful colors in a whole different environment of fishing than you're used to and that's what fishing's all about because a true fisherman doesn't make the same mistake twice. He strives to make new mistakes to learn from. And with that, I think we'll leave you. If you got a line, keep them wet.